Here we go, Logan Martin, Ashton Winger coming to green. I-55 Speedway off turn number four. It's showtime for the late models. Great flag out, it'll be Martin for the inside of the front row at 36. Winger gonna slide to that second spot, side by side of the third spot here. Shannon Bapp quickly to the outside of the seven of Drake Troutman. They'll run side by side off turn number four. Leader lap number one's Logan Martin. Martin leads at 36 up top. Ashton Winger down to the bottom. Shannon Bab gonna make it a three car battle. Bab, very maneuverable 18 car right now. He's up to that third spot. He's dropped to the bottom of the racetrack now to the inside of the 12 of Ashton Winger again. Logan Martin showing the way right now at 36. Logan Martin, Ashton Winger, Shannon Pam, Drake Trout, and Stormy Scott. Top five runners here early in this one again. It's a 40 lapper. We've got trouble turn number one. Great flag waving here. Martin back to the lead. Bab taking a look to the inside. As they run side by side with the second spot, give Shannon Bab P2 here at 18. Bab now to second. Oh, heads up back there. About three or four cars got together momentarily. Jason Fanger had to get on the brakes here. Leader will still be Martin, but Bab now second. Shannon Bab to the runner up spot. Ashton Winger to third. Stormy Scott to fourth. Drake Troutman to fifth. Jason Fanger now to sixth. Jason Fager trying to force the issue here just a little bit, trying to crack the top five down to the bottom. Still, though, Logan Martin rolling up front 36. Logan Martin's rolling up on lap traffic awfully quick here. That's allowing Shannon Babb to run him down. Babb enters a little bit lower. Winger had a head of steam going. He got over the cushion just barely there in the 12. Shannon Babb now going to sniff around for the lead here again. Logan Martin, that high side momentum, still going to keep him to the lead. He's going to pull a slider on Clayton Stuckey. He'll put Stuckey a lap down at 15. Tyler Clem right in front of race leader Logan Martin's 36 here. And again, Shannon Babb to the inside. Babb with a really good drive that time. Shannon Babb's going to use the lap car. Maybe as a pick. New leader, Shannon Babb at 18. Babb just took the lead in that 18 car, and now he's in a preferred groove, and there goes Babb. Shannon Babb, your new leader. Ashton Winger going to move out of the second spot. Cody Bauer right there. Winger a little bit of contact, but Babb up front here at 18. Riding onto the infield in the 94. Let's see if Shannon Babb can clear traffic. He did. Shannon Babb's now got the 31, the 16, and the two car not too far in front of him, but Ashton Winger hard in the wall. Winger with heavy right rear spoiler damage. I don't think there's any more damage than that, but he hit that wall pretty hard going into turn number one the last time by, and he's definitely got some arrow damage on the 12. Good three-car battle for third in the lap traffic right now. Babb still leads an 18. Shannon Babb, Ashton Winger, Stormy Scott will take that third spot away. Scott now to third. Stormy Scott is third. Fourth will be Martin, but the caution is going to fly. There's debris on the racetrack in turn number two. Great flag back in the air. Ashton Winger going to pull a slider for the lead. Winger, a crossover. Bab to the inside. Winger back to the lead. Ashton Winger back to the lead. Heavy right rear damage on that spoiler. Doesn't matter right now. Winger back to the lead. Shannon Bab is off the pace. Your race leader off the pace is Bab. Oh, Shannon Bab shuts it down. Coming off turn number four. Chris, a rear end issue on the number 18 for Shannon Babb is what's going to bring his night to an end. As we are back to green here for Ashton Winger in 12. Winger back to the race lead. Stormy Scott's going to have a shot here. We'll see what Stormy can do. Scott now to that second spot. Logan Martin to third. Jason Fanger trying to wrestle that four spot away from Drake Troutman here as we come by the line. 25 scored, 15 to go. Stormy Scott content to run around the bottom into two. He's going to take a look to the inside of Ashton Winger here in turn number one. It'll be winger Scott Troutman. Troutman with a head of steam down the back straight away up to second. Drake Troutman now to the runner-up spot. Stormy Scott, man, if he could just get a little better drive off of two, he'd be right there as well. Winger, Troutman, Scott, top three. Fager, four. Heckenest, five. Frank Heckenest Jr. now around. Logan Martin into the top five here, but the top three have broken away just a little bit. We're going to come to the line next time by with 10 to go. Stormy Scott pulls up even with Drake Troutman now for the second spot. Down the back straight away. Runner up honors on the line here. Stormy Scott to the inside. Can he take that spot away? He will. Stormy Scott at the line. He and Drake Troutman nearly dead even there. As again, that momentum off the high side of four. 
Carrying Drake Troutman back to the runner-up spot by .006 seconds that time by. This time will roll by with five to go. Winger Scott Troutman, Winger Troutman Scott now into three. Lap traffic may become a factor here as we come by the line. We're going to score 38. We've got a pair to go here for Ashton Winger. He's only out by a couple of tenths, though. Troutman there on top. Scott trying to steal it on the bottom. Here comes Stormy. Stormy Scott down to the inside. White flag in the air. One more time to go. Race of the year candidate upcoming with one to go. Stormy Scott of the back straight away. He's going to pull even with Ashton Winger, new leader on the back stretch. Into turn number three. Stormy's there. Off turn number four. A last corner pass. Stormy Scott wins it in two. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the car, how about it? Your hell to our winner, Stormy Scott. Yeah, well, I mean, I was, I was watching Jason, and then I, uh, I seen Troutman down there, and it just took me a while to figure out how much I bent and how much I had to woe up because we were getting such a run out of four to hit the bottom over there. But I knew that uh, as dry as the track was, I was just doing everything I could to make sure and you know, keep my tires under me and stuff so I could try to make a run at him. So I was trying to do everything I could to not wheel spin, but uh, man, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's been so long since, uh, since we've had this, since I've got a win and I, you know, I forgot how good it feels. And uh, I, uh, I, I feel like it, it's been, you know, a struggle and it's been a, a lot of work, but I feel like, you know, maybe that we got one now, hopefully it, uh, you know, come a little bit easier, but uh, the car's really good right now. Um, I just got to thank uh, Jason, Kyle, Clint. <clears throat> you know, without them guys, I couldn't do it. All my sponsors, they, uh, without them, I couldn't do it. You know, my grandparents, Ranch Milagro, and uh, Scott Brothers Racing, Eagle Moon Hemp, Top of the World Ranch. Yeah, they're, they're obviously, I mean, they're both really good at running up there, and I think everybody kind of knows that you know, that's not really my strong suit, but uh, I felt like if we would have had a, a yellow with only a few laps to go, maybe not, but I felt like the longer we went with that run, them running that top of there, they're getting their tires hotter and hotter, and, you know, at one point, I, they drove away just a tad, and then, but I could just, you know, I just kept cool and tried keeping my tires cool, and, uh, you know, they started coming back to me, and I knew that if we could go green to checkered and I could hit that bottom over there and not mess up, that I, I at least had a shot.